Hello, and welcome back to my eccentric Englishman's kitchen, where we are going to be creating the best courgette fritters in the world. Courgettes, zucchini, whatever you call them, these are wonderfully crispy on the outside and smooth and creamy on the inside. I've also got a bonus for you. Towards the end, I want to introduce you to a curious kitchen implement that you may not have seen before, but can become very useful in certain situations. But enough of talk. Let's get into the kitchen. Start by laying a large flat bladed knife across the clove of garlic and smash it. Then chop it finely. There we go. You take the skin off the shallot and start slicing that one finely too. And that should do it. The courgette is even easier. Just chop the ends off. Take a bowl, line it with this nylon bag that ladies use to wash their bras in, in the washing machine. Fit the grater into the bag and then start grating. finish, lift out the grater and lift the bag around the contents. And there we have our grated courgette to which we're going to add a generous pinch of salt, quite generous. Give it a very good shake so that the salt gets all the way around everything, as well as on me. And then simply do the zip up like that. After about 10 minutes, you can pick the bag up and then you start twisting to drive the water out. As you can see, we're getting a reasonable amount out, but keep going. You want as much out as possible. Just twist and twist and twist again. That'll probably do the trick. So unravel it. In the meantime, in a small pan, put in a small amount of olive oil, plain olive oil. Once that has warmed up, then you can pop in the chopped shallots and garlic. And begin to sweat them off. After about five or six minutes, the shallots will begin to colour up a little bit. That's the time to take them off the heat. Once you've turned the courgettes out of the bag, fluff them up a little bit with a fork just to loosen them a little bit. Then we add the shallots and garlic. And mix these together with the courgettes. Add a bit of pepper. 
and mix that in. Now add a generous tablespoonful of Parmesan cheese. That will probably do the trick. And half a tablespoonful of flour. Mix it all together. Now you need to get down and dirty. Use your hands. Mix it well in. Then take about half the mixture and roll it into, form it into a bowl. Like that. And repeat the process with the other one. For the next bit, we're going to need a larger board. Pop one of the balls on the board and then press it out into a patty. You want it to be about just under a quarter of an inch thick. Repeat the process with the other ball of courgette mixture and we're ready to start cooking. Sorry to interrupt, but if you've got this far, you must be something of a fritter person. And as such, would you mind helping me with a little bit of research? I'm trying to find out um, where my viewers come from. And I thought the best way to do it was to ask them to write in the comments below whether they are zucchini or courgette people. Do you mind doing that? It would tell me whether you're east or west of the pond. I'll let you know the results when all the records are in. It'll probably be in about a month's time. Thank you. And keep enjoying the video. I'm using rapeseed oil to cook the fritters. I get a higher temperature with the uh, rapeseed oil. We need to bring it up to just short of smoking. And there is the sizzle. The edges are just beginning to brown quite nicely. So let's see what happens if we turn them over. Now those are looking very good. That took about two and a half minutes in medium to hot pan. I'm going to leave them to cook on this side for about another minute, minute and a half. Those are about right now, so we'll take them out. Tasty fritters, but there's more to come. Hello, I think the time is right now for me to introduce you to that kitchen implement I promised at the beginning of this video. They're quail scissors. Quite easy. You simply put the kale egg in the hole and then the guillotine just nips off the top of the shell and you pour the egg into the frying pan. Very neat, very cheap and very available from Amazon. I'll put a link down the bottom for you in the description. Now let's see how they work. Let the pan cool down. The fritter heat is too hot for these little babies. Yes? They're quail's eggs. Using quail's egg scissors, I just clip the top off, move it like that, and pop the egg in. Now you can 
turn the heat up gently. If you put them in earlier, the eggs would have just crisped up far too quickly. This leaves them nice and soft and gentle. Be patient with these little soles. They are quite delicate. They're very tasty. And there you have your quail's eggs on courgette fritters. There's only one thing left to add. You might have guessed it's my old friend tomato powder. Just adds that little bit of extra taste.